So we're here today for the first live rehearsal or the premiere of some Kaylee dances that we've designed specifically inspired by the science of gravitational waves. It's been a really great collaboration. We've written two dances together. Today we're going to be sharing this work with members of the public and getting some feedback on it. Hopefully everybody will have a bit of fun but they'll learn a bit about the science that we do at the same time. It's been great fun working with Lewis um, to try and put these things together and explain things in a way that you maybe wouldn't normally if you were just giving a talk. Once someone had the idea, it was a really obvious avenue to go down. There's lots of spinning around involved that just really lends itself to Kaylee dancing. A lot of my work with a lot of experience with Kaylee dance, for music, is thinking about, well, how do we make it into a dance that actually works? We spent a day together. They showed me a lot of diagrams. And then once we started breaking it down to steps, and that's really where the collaboration developed. So this July we are hosting in Glasgow the GR Amaldi conference which is a international conference on gravitation, gravitational waves and general relativity and we're really excited at that conference to introduce all these international scientists to Kaylee dancing using the theme of gravitational waves in the dances to really make a unique and interesting event. Glasgow has always been a big center of this kind of science and has been a big part of all of the major discoveries in gravitational waves. Having the most respected scientists in the field come to Glasgow says that we are a city which is taken seriously as a place to come and present science and talk about science. Today we're going to get a chance to really road test it with people who have no background in physics necessarily or people who might not even be Cayley dancers. We're obviously going to present it to the scientists but we've also got funding from the IOP to start thinking about how we work with local youth groups for example and then we can develop this into a resource that teachers can use, educators can use and it's not just for us but then becomes for everyone.